Um, the DIEP tug and lap, uh, these are all technical names. Um, they're quite technical about the particular blood vessel we use. So without going into too much specifics of it, um, these are three different areas where we take tissue that is uh, fat and skin to rebuild the breast after mastectomy. Dieppe is from the tummy, tug is from the upper thigh, lap is from the lower back. So these are the three areas where we can take tissue quite easily and um, leave the area without much damage. That's also important. That is why we choose these areas. Um, it is a very difficult and different question because people, the patients come in various shapes, forms, and their needs are different. They might have radiotherapy, chemotherapy, they might have tissue, they might not have tissue. But across the board, if you had to say uh, everything is available, what is the best method for me? Uh, the best method today for a lady to have a breast reconstructed is using her own tissue. And even in that, Tummy is the best place because uh, it is very easy to uh, get the tummy tissue uh, and the skin. And uh, it is one of the few donor sites where we take tissue from, where we can improve the donor site. We can make the tummy even look better than we start with. So that is the best form of, uh, we would call it gold standard in breast reconstruction today is the DIEP flap that is from the tummy. Um, there are implant-based reconstruction. That is one group of breast reconstruction. Then we come to the flap reconstruction. When we say flap, it is tissue from some part of the body. There are two main types of flap reconstruction. One is using body tissue only. That is flap-only reconstruction, which is this uh, DF flap, tug flap, lap flap, that is from thigh, buttock, uh, upper um, part of the buttock or lower back, uh, tummy, uh, all these places. Wherever there is excess tissue, we can take tissue from and build the whole breast. And there is another type of flap surgery where we use the flap with an implant. So in people who do not have any tissue at all, um, then we can use a back muscle flap, which is called a latissimus dorsi flap and place an implant. But um, we don't use it much now. Maybe 20 years ago, that was very common. Now we don't use it because uh, it is worst of both worlds. It has to have an implant, which requires maintenance surgery, and it also has a flap, which gives a scar. So we most often use either implant only or flap only. Yeah, that is, um, it is very difficult. Patients do ask me these questions. And, um, and it's uh, very easy for me to say, it's not that painful, but then I haven't suffered it. So um, we tend to get patients to talk to other patients who have had it done, but by and large, the patients are quite surprised that it was not as painful as they thought, because we are not cutting into nerves, we are not cutting into bone or joints, so it is only skin and fat, and initially, after the operation, there might be some stinging or tenderness at the wound site. Other than that, it is very um, simply managed with paracetamol and uh, neurofen, that kind of pain. Um, all three would be very similar. Um, generally, uh, we tell patients in six weeks, they'll be carrying out most of the home functions they were doing before, um, or even going to uh, a shop or getting into a car and driving and things at six weeks, definitely. Um, exercise, uh, sternus exercise, cardiovascular or tummy crunches, and that kind of thing, eight to 12 weeks, depending on the patient. Some motivated patients recover faster than others, but uh, generally in three months, they'll do everything they've been doing before. 